Hello everyone, this is a video response to King Banana's Mathematical Ant Puzzle. Now, if you haven't seen the intro, please follow the link in the description below, and it'll give you some idea of what's going on. There were a lot of ways to approach this problem that I tried. This was my favorite. So, the first step in it is to realize that the collisions in the problem don't actually matter. I'll demonstrate this. Let's say I have two ants, one named Alice and one named Bob. Get him in the camera there. Now, Alice and Bob come together at one meter per minute, collide, move apart at one meter per minute. And we can see that they're back where they started. And let's suppose I can't tell the difference between them. They're identical. Okay. Now Alice and Bob come together, collide, and move apart. And all of a sudden, you see they've switched positions. So rather than, so this is more like when they come together, wave low, and move apart. Okay. So this tells us that the collisions of the problem don't actually matter. Right? Which means if an ant is on our cane, as it were, and moving towards an end, there will be an ant on the cane for as long as it takes that ant to cross the cane without collision. So the longest time is going to correspond to the longest distance traveled, which we have our one ant sitting at zero centimeters, and he traverses the full meter, it'll take him a full minute. The longest time is therefore one full minute. So the shortest time would be the shortest distance that, that would be traveled, in a sense. So that's if we have every ant moving away from the center. The center ant at 50 centimeters, well, he can go either way, and it'll take him half a minute to get off the stick. So the shortest time should be half a minute, right? Well, not exactly. Because what happens is we have a little freedom of where we can start the ants off. Instead of putting them at zero centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters, and so on, up to 99 centimeters for the last ant, we can put them at 0.5 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters, 2.5 centimeters, and so on, up to 99.5 centimeters for the last ant. This means that the center ant will be located at 49.5 centimeters and 51.5 centimeters. And both of these ants have are 49.5 centimeters away from their closest end. So now if all the ants move away from the middle, uh, the ants that take 49.5 centimeters to cross will have the longest time in that span. And that time will be 0.495 minutes rather than 0.5 minutes like we had before. So the real shortest time is 0.495 minutes. So that's the solution. We have the longest time is 1 minute, and the shortest time is 0.495 minutes. If you have been, thanks for watching.